Hey everybody and welcome back to Beauty Swirl. Today I have a cute little split dye video that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. I did take this color from natural black all the way to this beautiful pastel-y type of pink and hot pink. So if you wanna see how I got this look, please make sure you subscribe, click that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video, and while you're at it, make sure you like this video, give me a thumbs up, let your girl know that you are watching and you are enjoying these videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So we have L wigs here and this is what the packaging looks like. They sent me a full lace wig which came in a little plastic bag here. I'm going to go ahead and take it out and here is the stats on the hair. Um, it has four combs inside I think and all the normal areas. It has the little um, drawstring I think. Um, I have body waves. And here's what it looks like. Very, very beautiful curls to it. The color is beautiful. The luster is nice. But I'm gonna go ahead and bleach this on up. You guys know I had to do it. I did have to bleach this hair twice because I wanted it more of a lighter shade of blonde. And I wanted a more cooler shade too. So here's what it turned out to look like after two bleaching processes. The hair still feels good. It looks good. I didn't damage it at all. Here's what the color did look like. So we went from that to this one. So that's why I had to do it twice because I wanted that color to be lighter so that the colors that I put in will pop. So here's my working station. I did add a grocery bag over my um, wig head so I don't get any dye on it. And we're gonna add this full lace wig onto that wig head. And yes, you saw some watermelon. Your girl was tearing up some watermelon that day. <laughs> but here's what the blonde looks like. I was just showing you guys how light I got it. I'm really proud of myself. So we're gonna use pink rose and pink petal. I just added a little bit of conditioner to it and stirred it up till it's all mixed in very nicely. And we're gonna go ahead and add that to the head. So I'm just showing you guys how I apply um, my dye. And that's how I like to do it. I take my hand, I run my fingers through it to make sure all the colors are in there very nicely. Uh, I just part it just like that. I take a little comb and I comb through it to make sure all of the tangles are out. And then I just go in and start dyeing the hair. Uh, this time I didn't take into consideration um, bleaching or dyeing on my lace because I didn't really care because I was going to wear it in a, you know, a part. So it didn't really matter to me to get the dye on the lace. I'm just showing you guys how I did the other side. Same method. It's very important that you really comb those tangles out because that's going to give you an even smooth canvas to add your dye to it. So yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and add my dye on both sides. And when I get to the end, I like to just twirl it around my fingers and put it in my hand like that to get all the hair on there, all the dye on it. And I just play with it, run my fingers through it, just to make sure the color is just evenly throughout the hair. Now I'm just showing you guys, I left the um, foil on there and I added some T-pins so it would stay. I also pinned up the ends so that I can put it all in this grocery bag and let it sit for about an hour maybe, an hour to five hours, depending on what you, you know, how the hair is taking the dye. So I just threw a little bit of cornrows in there, got my little Cleo look, I was feeling it. I definitely did not, I definitely, look, 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 you guys, I am super tired right now, so my words is just going all over the place, but I definitely did not braid this as best as I could. As you can see, I just wanted you guys to see what it looks like, and I'm really, really, really loving it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start taking out one side. I just wanna see you know, a few different hairstyles that you can wear with this. If you wanna be seriously like a Too Faced, you have one side nice and curly, the other side braided up. <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and take it all out. And that is how the hair is looking. I'm definitely gonna leave it natural like this. I'm not gonna straighten it, I'm not gonna curl it. I'm just gonna leave it just like it is. 
Um, but yeah, I am loving that hair. It's kind of making me think of Harley Quinn. My own little spin on Harley Quinn. If I had to be the black Harley Quinn, this is probably the colors that I would pick. <laughs> look at those pigtails, you guys. Oh my goodness. They look so horrible. <laughs> but hey, I was still feeling it though. I was feeling it. Mm-hmm. And I'm just showing you guys the back area, how I just pinned it up with that comb in the back. Taking my hot comb, I'm going to just flatten out the top portion because I don't like it to be, you know, puffy up there. I like it to lay flat. It looks more natural that way. So just combing that through there. Make sure I get all my edges laying down. And yeah, that is the look, you guys. What do you think? Do you like this color? Do you like the split dye technique? What are any other colors you want me to try like this? I want to do some more split dyes. I love it so much. If you haven't seen my last split dye video, I will leave it in a card above. I did the split dye. Bleh. I did the split dye going from the top portion to the back instead of going side to side. So if you want to see that, check it out. Here's what it would look like if I wore it in a bob. What do you guys think? Should I cut this? Should I make this wig a bob? Magic. It's still long. <laughs> You guys, I just, I need sleep. I need sleep. That's why I'm acting so crazy right now. But yes, let me know what you guys think. Do you like the hair? Leave it in the comment section below. If you want to know more about this hair, I will leave it in the description box down below if you want to check it out. So yeah, I think that's about it. I'm going to just, you know, leave, leave you guys looking at all the slow-mo and all that good stuff. All right. obviously so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up please make sure you subscribe to the channel click that bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video make sure you check out my latest video here and what youtube thinks that you would like the most and i will see you guys in my next one Mwah! triple quadruple kisses <laughs>